Measurement of risk happens to be a very important concept in your investment analysis. Now risk is measured by the variability of returns. The standard tool that we'll be using for the calculation of risk is your standard deviation. Now basically if you see your standard deviation is result of square root of variance. Now if you know what is your variance, so you have different variables available with you. Let's say you have got 10 years data for your return and you can calculate what is your average return, right? So let's say your X bar is the average return. So you should calculate what is the volatility of the return from the mean or from the average that is X minus X bar. You do a square root of X minus X bar and if you add all of them up that is summation of X minus X square divided by N minus 1 what you get is your variance. When you do square root of variance what you get is your standard deviation. We are going to see this in detail when we deal with the CAPM model in our future video under the same concept of analysis of investment. So we know standard deviation is the measure of the values of the variable around its mean. That means how volatile is your uh, return from the average return. Or it is the square of root of the sum of the square deviations from the mean divided by number of observation. So your denominator could be n or n minus 1 for the number of, where n is your number of observations. Now CAPM model is a very important concept which we use to calculate your expected rate of return. In case you know what is the expected rate of return, we use CAPM model to calculate what is your beta, that means what is your risk. So beta will be represented as risk. So CAPM uses the concept, concept of beta to link risk with return. Using CAPM, investors can assess the risk return trade-off involved in any investment decision. Beta is the measure of non-diversified risk, which is your systematic risk. It shows how the price of a security responds to the changes in market prices. The equation for calculation of CAPM is RI, that is your expected rate of return, will be equal to RF, that is your risk-free return, plus beta, that is your risk, multiplied by RM, that is your market return, minus RF, that is your risk-free return. In case you know what is your expected rate of return and, and you have the data available for your market return as well as your risk free return, using this calculation, using this uh, particular formula, you can calculate your beta, that means you can calculate your risk. 